You're just too tall. Okay, here we go. Next on the agenda is Carl Richard. Thank you all. I appreciate you all inviting me to here to speak. Uh, I'm going to give you a little story about myself. I'm born and raised in Bossier City. I've lived here my whole life. My wife, Melissa, is born and raised in Bossier City. My kids go to school in Bossier Schools. My mother was a retired school bus driver for Bossier Schools for 25 years, and my father served on the fire department for Bossier City for 25 years. I started out my law enforcement career working for the Bossier Sheriff's Office as a reserve deputy. Reserve deputy is someone that works for free. I worked for two years for Larry Dean, uh, working patrol uh, out on the streets and working in the jails during visitation days. I had the privilege of getting hired by Johnny Wyatt. Uh, my first full-time job ever uh, was by Johnny Wyatt. He gave me the opportunity to come work in the Bossier City Marshal's office in 1992. I worked in every position in the Marshal's office. I was a court bailiff. I served civil papers. Um, I handled the bench warrants. I was in charge of the NCIC computer. That's the National Crime Information Center computer. Um, and before I left there, I was in charge of all the seizures. That's repossessions, repo in cars, houses, furniture. In 1997, I got an opportunity to go work for the Shreveport City Marshal's Office. Uh, it had more room for advancement and nothing wrong with the Bossier Marshal's Office. Me and Johnny left on good terms. I left on the 31st of December in 96 and started on the 1st of January in 97 in Shreveport. In the Shreveport Marshal's Office, I'm starting my 14th year in the Marshal's Office. I've served over 10,000 court orders. And when I mean court orders, those are orders issued by a judge telling you to go out and pick up something. That doesn't include the evictions, the subpoenas, the small claim suits, or any of the other civil papers that the court issues. My current position in the Marshal's Office now, I do several things. I handle all the repossessions. I have the entire city of Shreveport by myself. I serve about, I repossess about 600 items every year in the city of Shreveport. Uh, I have uh, served uh, the papers uh, from subpoenas to evictions to all that. I've, I've done that. I've worked in the court bailiff over there. My current position is I'm the purchasing agent for the office. I do the budget for the office. I'm the inventory person for the office. And uh, I'm the fleet manager for the office. So I'm very well-rounded in every field that the marshal's office handles. I believe in 18 years of working in the marshal's office and serving over 10,000 court orders gives me the advantage of knowing what the marshal's office does. If I was elected tomorrow, I could walk in that office and not have any, need any on-the-job training. I would know exactly what papers to serve, how to do a marshal sale, know what a garnishment is, know where the fees go, know what the marshal salary is, know how the court runs. I know how to do every bit of it. I've worked it every day, like I said, for 18 years. I have some papers here. This the, the budget for the city marshal's office. There's a few things that uh, a lot of people don't know that the marshal's office has a discretionary fund. And I don't know exactly how much money that Marshal Wyatt had in the discretionary fund. I think it's three or four hundred thousand dollars. But he gets a discretionary fund comes from uh, $30 off every traffic ticket that's paid by the uh, individual that gets a traffic ticket. And the, the service fees, when you file a small claim suit, there's a service fee for each one of those. A subpoena is a different amount of money. Those all go to a discretionary fund. That discretionary fund can be spent on anything that the marshal wants to buy except to offset his salary. If he wants to give his deputies a bonus, he can give his deputies a bonus. If he wants to buy new cars with that money, he can buy new cars with that money. I noticed in the 2011 budget here that they have $40,000 allocated for overtime. I believe that $40,000 could be given back to the city and hire a fireman or policeman and use that discretionary money to pay overtime or give the deputies comp time. You don't have to give someone overtime. I think that money could be saved right there. There's another thing in the budget here for uh, wireless laptops and mobile phones. There's $24,000 a year spent for cell phones. I think that ought to be paid out of the discretionary fund. And the uh, wireless laptops, there's 18,000 spent on that every year. That could be paid out of the discretionary fund. There's another 
salary that could be paid for another fireman or policeman. We just laid off 20 firemen and 20 policemen. Here's something I can eliminate right here as the city marshal to hire two of them back. I believe my uh, expertise in the marshal's office, I have nothing against these guys over here, but I'm the only candidate that's ever worked in a marshal's office. I know it frontwards and backwards. I will do you a good job. I will have an open door policy. I told a gentleman over here, I don't care if you make $2 or you make $2 million. If you come knock on that door and want to speak to the marshal, come on in and sit down and tell me your story. I may can help you, I may not, I may know where to send you to get some help, but I will have an open door policy. As for the Internet Crimes Task Force, I don't plan on getting rid of it. Everyone says, oh Carl, you're going to get rid of it. I never said I was going to get rid of it, but if you look in this budget, there's no money allocated for the Internet Crimes Task Force. Not one dollar of the city money is allocated for that. I don't know where they get their money. It may be from grants, it may be for something else. I don't know that. I'd like the opportunity to get in there and see where the money comes from. And I want to save the taxpayers of Bossier City every cent I can. But I have three wonderful kids. I don't want them getting uh, caught up in any internet person from some pervert, pervert on the internet. But I can promise you, I'm not going to get rid of the internet task force. I am going to get other agencies involved to maybe offset the cost. I don't know what the cost is. I've never seen anything printed or anything that says how much it costs to run the Internet Task Force or how much Marshall White spent on the computers. If, if he bought computers, he had to spend it out of the discretionary fund. If he got grants, I'd like to keep the grants going. But I can tell you right here in front of all of you, I will not get rid of the Internet Task Force. I do not plan on getting rid of the Internet Task Force. There's another thing I talked about in the Shreveport Times. I want to do more with less. And when I say I want to do more with less, it's not less money in the budget per se, but say if you have four people working court. When I worked in the marshal's office in Bossier, we had five deputies that worked city court. We had one judge and one courtroom. We didn't need five deputies working in that courtroom. I think two deputies are suffice in that courtroom. Take the other two deputies, go put them out on the street doing the bench warrants. Right now, the bench warrants picked up in Bossier City are all done by Bossier police. I don't know how many bench warrants are outstanding out there, but there's several thousands of them out there that can be collected to offset money and, and bring money back to the city to the city of Bossier. That's one of the things I want to do. I want to implement someone to be on a bench warrant uh, a warrant team. Two guys that go out and that's their sole job is to do warrants. Another thing is uh, I want to when I say do more with less, if this, this person's just doing one job, why can't he do two jobs or three jobs? In my office in Shreveport, I do five jobs and I get every one of them done. I'm never behind, I'm never late, I get every one of them done. I'm done. So instead of, you know, one person doing this and one person doing this, why can't we get them multitasking? I think everyone in their jobs uh, around here are probably done multitasking at their office. And I, I, I saw also in the budget that they got another employee for the marshal's office, so that now they have 19 employees. I'll give you a little stats comparing the two cities. I love Bossier City, I live in Bossier City, so I'm not trying to degrade Bossier City at all. I'm just going to give you a stats between the two cities and the two marshal's office. The Bossier marshal's office budget, they have 19 employees and their budget's $1.2 million. The Shreveport Marshal's Office has 28 employees and their budget's $1.5 million. So there's only $300,000 difference and Shreveport has 10 more employees. The Shreveport City Marshal's Office has four judges and five courtrooms. We serve 45,000 civil papers in Shreveport and do over 600 repossessions every year. Bossier City serves about 6,000 civil papers and does about 60 repossessions a year. So there's a comparison between the two agencies. And there's only $300,000 difference in the budgets. I'll tell you what Shreveport does, and I, I want to kind of implement it. They use their discretionary fund to pay for the cell phones, for the cars, the uniforms, the light bars, the radios, and all that stuff. That's the way they save Shreveport money. And that's kind of what I want to do in Bossier. There's a lot of money that's brought in in that discretionary fund, and we ought to use it to offset the cost of the citizens of Bossier and not build that thing up to five, six, seven hundred thousand dollars. I say use it wisely. Don't deplete it all the way down, but use it wisely. There's three things I want you to remember. 
I was born and raised in Bossier City. I've lived here my whole life. I have 18 years in the Marshal's office, and I'm a full-time, the only full-time law enforcement officer at this time. I'm a full-time, post-certified law enforcement officer. I'd love to have your vote on April the 2nd. I have push cards, I have an email address, I have a cell phone. Feel free to call me at any time. Thank you.